Hello everyone! Today we will build a chat application with Flutter and therefore we use the Stream API. Stream chat supports one-on-one -on -one conversations and also group conversations. And if you go here through this page, then you see they have chat UI components. So they have widgets which are predefined and you don't need to build every widget on your own. You can just use these widgets. If you go a little bit more down, you see also there are chat emoji reactions, which you can use for your chats. It's also built in automatically. You can have smileys in your chat, you can write to other people and so on. There's like many things which is supported here. And for Flutter, they also have here the stream chat Flutter package. So let's just install it right now. So I copy this dependency here in the installing section and I go to the Flutter project. And then I put here under the dependencies the stream chat flutter. And before we also get here the packages and upgrade the packages, we go to the terminal or to your command line. And then you type in here flutter channel stable. And then he will switch to the flutter channel stable. And we also make flutter upgrade. So make sure that you have the latest version of flutter. And after some time, you can then do the packages get and packages upgrade. All right. And now we go here to the readme section again of the stream chat flutter. And here you see quick links and register. So we need to create your account and you can type in here some username and an email address and a password. So I just put here all my information inside. I click on try stream chat now. And then you will lead up in this page here and you get here the API key and the secret. So let's keep this web page open and let's go to our Flutter project. I create here a new folder, which is called config. And here I write the API key inside. I get it here, this API key. And next to the API key, I also insert here some tokens and IDs. So these are like two users. Here's one user and this is for the other user. And with these, we have later two users which can chat with each other. So this is what we have set up. And then we can go here to our main method and I will just make it here async and to future. And now we have to create here a new client. So I will just import here this chat stream example config first of all. This is the config file which we have created here. And I also import here this stream chat flutter. And this package which we here import is exactly this one here in the pubspec jumble file. So the client itself is later communicating with the stream API servers. And how we can use this client is by going here and then we write here something like stream chat. And here we have basically a client. So we have to put here our client later inside. So I just write here client. And we also have here a child. I just put here right now a container inside. And later we put here our chat components inside. So let's get this client. So I will just put this client here into my app. So I have here a new field, client. And we also put this client further into our homepage widget. So I will just copy this here and put this client here inside. And I also put here this in the constructor. And of course I have to write here client in front. Now we have here the stream chat and the client is inside. So the connection is established. And the next thing is we want to set a user also. And I also write here at the top, of course, client. Now I create here a new folder, which is called API. And I call here a new file stream API. And here inside we create a new method, which is called init user. It takes the client, which we have initialized before and some other parameters like the username, the URL image of the username, the token and so on. So basically what is happening in this method is that we set for our client the method set user and here inside we pass a user with some information. So let's use this method. So I go to our main and here inside I write await init user. I write here in front stream API. And now I have to put here in some information. So I put first of all the client inside, then a username, which we can define for our user and an URL image, which is later our avatar. So in my case, I go here and 
show you this image. So this is how it looks like, this image. And we also pass here in some ID, which I have defined here. And also this token, which is an example token. So basically, these token here later need to be generated for each user on the server. But because I don't have a server, we just use some example token here. So you can also use the same tokens if you want. It doesn't matter. All right, now we have set up our user here. And now it's time to go to our plugin again. This plugin has, if you scroll down, some UI components. And here, for example, is this UI component channel list view. So if you load it, you see these are like predefined widgets. So you have here some chats with other people. And you can also scroll down if you want to see some example code here. And you also have here other widgets. Let's go to, for example, this message list view. You see here that we have a message list view. You have here some chats with other people. You can also put some image inside, some links some other documents, and here you have more example code. So basically, we have here a lot of widgets which we can use, so you don't have to write your UI components at all. Another one which is really important is maybe this message input. So you have here a predefined input for writing your messages, and here's also some example code. So like you can see, we have here message input, which is just called like this, and that's all, and then you have here this message input widget. All right, let's go back here to our stream chat. And here at the top, you also see stream chat, which we already used. And now you also see here stream channel. If you go inside, you see it provides some information about some channel data. So this is what we want to use. So I just copy this here and we go back to our application. So below the stream chat, we create here a new stream channel. And here inside, you can pass to information. So again, one channel and also a child. And I just write here container first of all. And now we need to get the channel. So we need to create a new channel where we want to chat and where we want to communicate inside. So I write here widget.channel. And here at the top, I also create this channel and I pass it here inside. So now this error is gone. And we also put here inside this channel. So we go all the way down and create this channel and pass it down. And here at the top of my app, we also need to pass here the channel then. And I just write here channel. And now we have to create this channel here inside before we run our application. So I write here a new method, stream API create channel. And I press the option enter or alt enter to create this method inside of our stream API. And here we want to give back a channel. And here we need to write some code to create this channel. So I put here also some information inside. So basically what we are putting here inside is also a client. So let's go back to this place here. I will just pass the client inside. And next to the client, we also have here some other information. So we have here, for example, a type, an ID and ID members. So let's go one by one. What is this? So first of all, we have here this messaging type. So I go here to our browser and then I go here to get stream.io and I go here to this dashboard and then I go here to my app. So in my case, I named it test. We go here to the chat overview and here you see like chat types. So these are like the types which you can define. So you can have, for example, a commerce one, you can have a gaming type, a live stream, a messaging, and so on. And if you like, you can also create your own chat type later. So in my case, I use this messaging type already. So this is the name, and we simply use it here as a type. The ID is something which you can provide here. So I just have some sample ID for this type. And also for the chat, which we later have, it has also some members. So I define here who is a member and it will be Emily and Peter. These are our two example users, which I have put here inside. And they both have an ID, which we just put here inside. So let's go back here to our method and let's complete it. So we write here client.channel and it gives us back a channel. And then we can write here channel.create. So we want to create this channel. 
and I write also channel dot watch and then I return this channel. So basically what is happening here is we create a channel and we also watch for this channel if there are any changes in this channel. And here we have also another parameter which is called extra data and ID. So I first of all provide the ID. So I just write here ID and also extra data. And in the extra data we provide here a name for this channel. So for example I call it private birthday party and an image and you also pass here in some members. So what we can also do is we can take this information here outside. I just write your name and image and I also put it here inside. So this is our channel name and this is the image of our channel. Now we can then go here back and pass in here also the other information. So the channel name is private birthday party and the image itself is some URL. So I just have chosen here a birthday cake. So if we go here to the browser, you see we have here a birthday cake. All right. So with this, we can create a channel and I will also create another method to just watch a channel. So we don't want to create it all the time because we only need to create this channel once. And I will just delete here all the extra data. This channel create, I will also delete. I just watch here the channel and we can also get rid of this here. And now we have here this watch channel method, which we can also implement in our main method. So I just go here down and create also this method. And instead I write here watch channel. And for now I just will command it out because we don't need it. But later we need, if we switch the user, then we can use this. All right, now we have two things done already. We have created here user and we have created here channel and we have passed all this information down to our stream chat. First of all, the client and to our stream channel, we have provided the channel. And now we can go ahead to display all the widgets and it's pretty easy. We don't need to do much for it. So to display our widget, we just go here inside and create a new channel page. I create here a new folder, which is called page. And I create here a new file, which is called channel page. And yeah, I just copy here in some configuration and I will also import this stream chat flutter. So basically what we have here, we have a scaffold and here inside we have a message input, a message list view and a channel header. And if you go back to this plugin, then you see here this channel header, which we use. This is how it looks like. We have here a header. Then we also have this channel list view, which we make use of. So these are simple chats. And we also use this message input, which is simply this input here. All right, now that's everything what we need to do. We have our channel page. We go here inside and import the channel page, which we have created. And then we can run this application. And if you start this application, you directly see here the chat. So we have here this header, like I said before, this is a channel header. Then we have here an extended. So here are all our messages inside. This is the message list view and the message input is here at the bottom. And like you can see, I have here already some messages because when I tested this application, I've already put here some things inside. So you can go here inside and then you can type some text, for example, hello, stream chat api and then you can send this and like you can see it is then putting all this here nicely inside and literally we didn't have to do much we just put here this some code inside so this is basically one channel page but we can also go further that we have like different chats so we can have multiple channels and yeah let's just do it right now so instead of the stream channel, we can also put some other thing inside. So I just remove it here for now. And we can put here the channel list page inside. And this is a new widget which we have to create. So I go here and create here channel list page. And here I also import this stream chat flutter again. And I also import this channel page which we have created before. So it's exactly this channel page. And what is happening here is that we create a channel list view. So it's like a view with all of our channels. 
So we have only created one channel right now. Yeah, and here inside we can define how many sheds we want to display. We can also do some sort of the channels and so on. So these are like advanced things what you can do. And I just will import this channel list page here. And then I hot restart this application. And if everything works right, you see here, we have here this hello stream chat API. And if you go here inside, then you can read here also the messages. And if you want to create more channels, then you go here and create another channel. And then it will also display here in this one. So how do you do this? So for example, you can create another channel. You only have to change one thing here. So you have to change here, for example, this sample ID. Then you hot restart this application. And now you see we have here two channels. One is without any messages and the other one is with messages. And we also can rename it. So we call it, for example, family. We also can set here a new image. So I have decided to take this image here of this family. I copy the address and I go back here to our application and I put this information here inside. And now if we hot restart, then nothing will work because we have already the channel created and he will not override it. And to update this channel here with the new image, we can go here and write channel.delete. So we will delete this channel with the ID sample2. And this is the ID with sample2 and this is the ID with sample. So we will remove only this channel here. So let's hot restart this application. And here you see this channel is removed. Then we can go here again and create this channel and this time with a new name and also with a new image. Here you can also define which members should be inside. So I keep it the same. And now you see we have here two channels. We have here this private birthday party channel and the family, of course. Later, you don't want to have this information here inside all the time. Maybe you have a button and then if you press it, you can create a new channel. You pass here all the information inside of this family title, the avatar and so on. So now that we have created two channels, I think this is enough. I will commence this here out and I will only keep this second one here inside. So we will only watch this channel if there are like new things coming inside, like new messages, then he will get informed about it and will display it here in the widgets itself. We can also go here inside and write something. So this is not Saloni. Hello family. Another thing which is really great, you can also click here on this plus and out of the box you can upload a photo, a video, some files and so on. So I just take here upload photo and yeah, I just select the file which I have here. You can also write some message beside it. Hello, this is great. And then you see here directly that we also have here this image inside. All right. So you see like with less things, you can do a lot with the stream API. You can create a channel, you can create a user. Later, maybe you want to have different users. So that's what we also can do. So I just go here and duplicate this line. And one of them I comment out. And now I create here another user, which is called, for example, Peter. Peter also gets a different avatar. So I will just put in another URL inside for a different avatar. And here I take the ID of Peter and also the token of Peter. And now if we hot restart the application, we are the user Peter. And like you can see next to our chat, we also have here two because we have here two new messages, which we haven't seen yet. And yeah, we can read these messages like you can see. And the messages are displayed on the left because it's another user. This is the Emily user. And we also can write here something. Hello, Emily. Thanks for your image. And then you see we have here this user on the right side and with the avatar, which I have chosen. So this is this picture here. You can show it in the browser. So I have just chosen another picture for Peter. And now we can chat with each other and can write with each other in this family chat. And he also has access to the other chats where he is a member from, for example, this one here. And he can also write here, of course. Hello. And you can switch besides the user all the time. So you can go again to Emily, hot restart this application. 
And now you see Emily has again messages and so on. Let's say you want to customize the style a little bit here. How do you do this? So basically what you can do is you go here into the stream chat and here you have another property which is called stream chat scene data. So I will just create the stream chat stream data. And then here inside you can pass in some information. So you can have a channel theme. So you can define how the channel looks like. You can define how the messages look like. So you can define your own message theme, the other message theme. So let's define, for example, our own message theme. And then I write here message theme. So this will only modify our own messages. And here inside we can, for example, take the avatar theme so we can change how this avatar looks like. So I create here again an avatar theme. And here inside of this avatar theme, we can, for example, change the constraints. So inside of our family chat, right now we have here small avatars, but we can also have here bigger ones. So I just refresh it here and you see that it's bigger. Here on the right side, you see we have this bigger image, but we have a blue background, which is not intended. And yeah, what we can we do? We can also change here, for example, this border radius and we go to circular and then we set here, for example, 120 or something. Then we hot restart and you see here, this is looking again great because we have increased the border radius and now everything looks fine again. You can also change here, of course, other things. So you can change your color of the text or this text style. So I just make the text style a little bit different. So let's go here. I say the font weight is always bold and I will hot restart this application. And now it's white. Maybe I should also supply here color, colors black. And I will also make a font size of 20, for example. So it's really big. This is how you can see you can modify your own text and this will only change your text. If you also want to change the other one, then you go here, other message. You create again a message theme with this text. Let's hot restart this application. And now you see here the other one also have the text bigger. And yeah, literally you can change every widget here inside. So it's pretty easy. You have this theme data and then you can change the style of it. You can also, if you don't like this input widget, for example, you can write your own input widget. So all in all, you can see you have a lot of opportunities with this stream API chat. You can use these standard widgets, which we have, for example, created on this page here. So you don't have to write that much code. But if you like, you can also exchange them later and create your own widgets or you just style them differently with these things, what we have learned here. Like you can have some theme data and you override them to change the look and feel. But it's also possible to write your own widgets and just use the API in the background. All right, this is about this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, got a brief sense about how to use the stream API. The last thing I want to mention is that you also can go to their website and here you see they have some documentation and here you can read all about the clients, for example, how to initialize a client, how to generate a token on the server later. So for example, if you want to generate your own tokens then you have here some possibilities, you can read about it, um, how to write messages and so on, file upload, message from it, there are like different things. So you can also send here some messages to some channels inside of Flutter. So it's pretty easy. You can read about it. You can read about the channels, how to initialize a channel, how to watch a channel. And yeah, you can also have here pagination and channels, update a channel, of course. And here are like many possibilities. Like you can see, you can read a lot about it. And yeah, I hope you liked this video and enjoyed it. And if you want more tutorials about it, then write it in the comments. And probably I will make another video about the stream chat API. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.